So we are always faced with the age old question of how do I know if Greek life is for me? I've been a member of a black Greek letter organization for over 10 years of my life, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And I was a solo club, Miss Perseverance, SS Endurance, LDB. I do know a thing or two about maintaining membership within an organization at both the undergraduate and graduate level. So I'm hoping that now I can help you all with that. And as a professor now, I see some of the newer initiates and some of the newer people who are coming into the organizations and those who could care less about it but are kind of wondering whether or not they would like to join later on. And so I think there's several things you need to consider realistically. First thing, number one, is know yourself. When you're joining these organizations, know your limits, know what you want to do, know what you don't want to do, but know your goals for the organization. Don't look for how letters can enhance who you are. Look at how you can be a substantial contribution to the organization. Now, when I say don't look for how it enhances you, yeah, you should look for the benefits that it has, such as networking, such as sisterhood and brotherhood, such as community service aspects, such as social gatherings, and such as uplifting the community in itself. However, you also need to know yourself and what your personal goals and motives are for the organization. That way, your run in the organization will be decided before you even come along into the organization and you avoid being just a t-shirt wearer, a person who only wears the letters and really doesn't do anything for the organization. Number two, are you even a team player? Are you a person who can even be a part of a team? Are you afraid to be the head? Are you afraid to be the tail? Are you afraid to be in the back? Do you have to always be in the front? You have to think about who you're going to be in this organization because as a team, everybody is just as equal as the next person when it comes to a team or organization. You all have to work. You all have to get things done. So you have to see how you fit within those confines. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to work along with others? Are you ready to not be selfish? So before you join any organization, especially if you are joining the organization with other new members, you need to find out where you fit in in the selfish realm or upholding others and standing behind them when they are taking the forefront or when you have to take the forefront. So think about all of those things. Ask yourself if you are trying to be a superstar. If you are, sorry, a nobody, before you go into the organization, expect to be a nobody after you join. I'm tired of people who just walk around and think everybody should kiss their feet because they joined a Black Greek letter organization. That is not okay, sweetheart, and sir. You need to... You should make sure that who you are and what you are are established well before you join one of these organizations. If you are the cool girl on campus, stay the cool girl on campus. If you are the friendly guy in the dorms, be the friendly guy in the dorms. But don't change who you are because you put three letters across your chest. If it's not for the positive and it's you becoming stuck up, rude, conniving, mean, and stupid, then don't even think about joining. Next, you need to ask yourself if you're ready to even be your own own person. So many people join these organizations and they're looking for a definition within themselves. I refused from day one of being a member of my organization and even before to be the AKA Nina. No, let's get this right. I am Nina who happens to be a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. So many people define themselves by their letters and you see these fools, excuse me, walking around all the days of their lives still honking their own horns, still wearing too much Perry. It's some of y'all out here that need to be fined. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if I catch you with at least four or five pieces of Perry over a time, you, you need to stop. And make sure that you're not looking for this organization to define who you are. Be who you are, be an individual, be the person who joined an organization, but don't let that organization be who you are. Don't define yourself by the stereotypes placed on your organization. The next thing is do your research. Not enough people research organizations. 
So a big thing that I see as a problem is so many people come in like my auntie is a Delta, my uncle is a Q, my friend is an Omega, my friend is an Alpha. That's nice, that's fine and dandy, but have you done your research? Make sure that you look at all of the Divine Nine organizations. Know the history behind them. You might even find out you don't even want to be a member through the research. So don't come in just trying to become something because your friend, uncle, baby, sister, baby, daddy, cousin, and friend are all members. Be one because you want to be one and because you've done research on all of the organizations and you've figured out exactly which one is best for you and why. That should resonate with you well so that you know never become confused when you join your organization. Also realize whether or not you're just looking for some drama. It's some real dramatic people out here in these streets and they really just looking to join anything with the cover up of being educational or doing some community service or partying and that's not what it's all about. Don't be out here trying to join organizations just so you can fight sister so and so and brother Momo. We're, we're too grown for this. You don't need to be playing around with trying to join an organization that's the rival of someone you don't like. Why would you live your life or join something that's a lifetime organization in order to get back at somebody else? I'm going to need for you to have several seats. Yes, I'm going to touch on it. Paper versus pledged. We talk about it all day. We talk about people who is flammable and all of that. But then what about all the people who pledge and don't really do nothing for the organization either? Everybody around here just making problems for no reason. And so what I'm going to say to you all is this. Understand the controversies not because they should directly affect you and whatever you choose to do. Because if you choose to do anything such as hazing that's on you and the organization which should be of non-hazing organizations however if you do choose to do that know why you're doing it understand all the situations and all the things that you could get yourself into all of the problems that things could bring being paper versus pledge whichever one I'm not just talking about one or the other just realize what the stigma is that comes with each one it's like people join organizations and they don't understand these things I don't think you should join any organization and not understand the controversy or the struggle or the strides behind it you need to understand what's going on just so you can know what the battle might be for you just understand it don't necessarily entertain it but make sure you look into it know where you're going know what you're doing and that also plays into knowing why you're joining the organization if you're joining to just get hazed I'm gonna need for you to have several if you join it just because your friend is joined and uh you just don't want to be left out but you don't want to you know work for your letters then you need to sit down too so those are all things that must be considered Make sure that you check out my latest videos and other weight loss, hair care, and educational videos. Thanks for watching, guys.